Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all well. So over the last couple of days I've had quite a few questions about the global company's grain dryer, specifically on Flint Hills, but obviously this mod is available on other maps as well, so I thought I'd do a very quick tutorial about how you get it to work. Now it's pretty straightforward, obviously the basics are make sure global company's mod is installed when you load up the map and make sure that you've got the latest version of it. And the other thing to make sure you do is fill it up with propane. And that's where people seem to be struggling a little bit. So I'll show you what I do. Hopefully this works for you. Um, but again, like I said, make sure your mods are up to date before you start and make sure they're switched on. So this is the awesome uh, grain drying setup on the North Farm on Flint Hills. Uh, I love doing this. I even love the little digital readout you've got here as well. Top one is the wet corn that you put in and the bottom one is the dry corn that's been dried. Uh, here's your propane tanks uh, and all you really need to do is access the global companies menu which is control G which will bring up wherever you've got a factory or a or a dryer in this case on the farm so there we go north farm um, you can click on that you don't need to click on that actually because it's the only one but if you had more than one you can click on the one to select the one you want and you just want to click on open overview menu so once we open the menu here you'll see you've got all your crops down the left hand side. Now the dryer will only work for corn. Uh, it's the only one that has a drying capacity on uh, this map certainly. Um, so you can see it just lists your crops there. If you click on corn however you can see that propane appears. Now what you want to do with propane is actually click on it. You'll see how it's highlighted there and gone orange uh, and then you get some options down here in the bottom right hand corner. The space is by, Q is maximum which is basically fill it up Fill up the propane to 100,000 litres, um, space then will allow you to buy it, or E allows you to add a small amount incrementally. So let's press E and see what you've got there. You've got 500 litres added at £850. Again, pressing E again, so it's going up in 500 litre increments. 1,000 litres, 1,500, 2,000, so on, and the price goes up accordingly. So I could buy that now, so I could hit the space bar and it will come up with a confirmation box. Please confirm the following product purchase. Input product propane, volume 2,500 litres, cost 4,250 pounds. So you just need to say yes then, and you'll see that we have 2% propane in our tanks. So we have 2,500 uh, 2, litres out of a possible 100,000 litres. Now what we're gonna do here, because we're gonna dry a lot of corn, is we're just gonna hit Q and that'll brim your propane tank with 97,500 litres. Actually, it would be 100,000, but we've obviously bought a little bit already. Um, so if you're happy to do that, it gives you the price as well, so you know uh, how much it's going to cost you, just in case uh, you haven't got that much money in the bank. Um, but if you're happy with that, just hit the space bar, or click it with your mouse. Um, you'll get your confirmation again for purchase. Hit yes, and there you go. You've got a full bar of green now of propane ready for your dryer to start working. Now, at the moment it's saying disabled, um, but it auto start is on. So, if we go back out now, I just so happen to have a truck waiting here with a full load of corn. So let's jump into this. Um, we'll just run around here and unload this. Let's uncover it. There we go. Beautiful corn fresh off the field. We just pull up to the dryer here. We're in hopper one, so we can unload that. So there it goes, it's starting to unload. Now, because we're on auto start, you see the steam has started to come out of the dryer. Basically, it's kicked in and started working. So as that corn is unloading, we'll just wait for that hopper to finish. Yeah, this is a Wilson trail, so we know there's 30,000 liters in that first hopper. Uh, if we go back to the global companies menu now, North Farm, open our overview menu corn dryer has gone from um, disabled to active. It's doing 10,000 litres an hour of drying. Uh, we've filled it, there you go, 29,500 litres. And it's already dried 500 litres of corn. But we've only 1% filled our bins, so we've got up to 2 million litres that we can dump into this, into this silo. But that's it really, simple as that. Um, you can always stop the dryer if you want to. Um, I have never done that yet, I've just let it run as long as it needs to. Uh, and other than that, 
that is how you use the global company's grain dryer, not just on Flint Hills, but any map where you'd like to place it. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please leave a like on the vid and subscribe. I do a lot of tutorials, so hopefully you'll find some other stuff that will uh, help you with your gameplay. But for me, for now, I am the Farm Sim Guy, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.